I'm Brenda. Welcome back to my quilt room. Today I'm going to show you the progress that I've been making on a series of memory quilts that I'm making for some people from our church. Their grandmother had passed away and asked me would I make them quilts out of her dresses. And so this behind me, these are some of the quilt blocks that I'm getting ready to set together into a quilt. Now this particular grandmother, she loved to sew and she made aprons. That was just her thing. And with everyone that she met and new people who came into the church, she would give them an apron in a plastic bag. And along with it, it had a poem. I don't know if this is a poem or just a story called The History of the Apron. A lot of women maybe today or people who work in a kitchen don't always use an apron. Now, my grandmothers, they wore aprons to keep their good clothes clean. And so what I did, I looked on the internet for like some coloring book pages of aprons and I blew those up and copied them onto some uh, just card stock or these were manila file folders, traced the images out and then cut them out. Once I had stabilized the fabric of the dresses, I traced these onto the back of the material and then I cut them out. Here's a few that I'm working on right now. I think these were blouses and so I've cut out, I've tried to vary the colors by cutting different shapes to put on the aprons. This one had some embroidery on the blouse and I thought it was really pretty and I wanted to incorporate that into one of the blocks. So that one, these are almost finished, but behind me you can see the different ones, the different style. This one has the bib on it, and these are just short-waisted aprons that you would tie around you that don't have a bib. Now the aprons that she made, they all had a bib, but I thought that it would be pretty to just mix them up in the, in the two varieties of the style of aprons. And I think when I'm finished with it, it's going to be really, really pretty. This will be a throw. And what also I've done, I saved, I've taken off all the buttons of the clothing as I go. And I'm holding them onto those along with the labels out of her dresses. So towards the end, when I get ready to set the blocks together, I'm going to embellish them with probably I'll stitch on some of her label tags on there, or I will add buttons to the apron just to dress them up a little bit with her things. And I, dis I did discuss this with the lady who is going to be long arm quilting this for me. And you may want to do that if you're making memory quilts for someone else because you don't want any embellishments that you put on your blocks to interfere with the quilting. So what we decided was she's going to quilt all around the outside of the aprons. That way I can go ahead and sew on my embellishments, my buttons and labels before I give her the quilt to have it quilted. And I've gone over this with you before and we'll put um, a link to that video below about doing applique, but I've stabilized all of the fabric of the dresses with this very sheer fusible interfacing. It's very thin and lightweight so that it doesn't add much bulk when I go to make the quilt blocks. And when I lay the, when I'm laying the aprons down onto the quilt block, 
you can you can use this Elmer's glue it's a stick glue and you can dab some of that on there and just lay it back down and iron over it I, I like the clear Elmer's glue you can dot that along the edges or you can use the clear tacky glue to hold them in place then after they're in place I have put this is just scrap paper I save all my scrap paper because I do a lot of applique and pin it as an extra stabilizer when I go to do my satin stitch zigzagging around the outside edge of my pieces. That just helps the, it helps your quilt block to not want to shrink up because of pulling the tightness of the threads. It, it keeps your blocks from getting distorted. So I always use the scrap paper. Another tool that I like to use when I'm appliqueing are these gloves that have the little dotted rubbery nubs on them. That helps steady the fabric. It helps steady my hands as I'm working the block under the sewing machine. Now, I would like to ask your opinion. I'm trying to decide once I go to set the blocks together. They'll be four by four. If I should use plain strips of her dresses in between um, as my sashing for each block, or if I should mix it up. I made a bunch of these as I was making the other quilts, and I had a thought that I may cut these into two and a half inch strips, sew them together, and put those in between as sashing in the quilt blocks. So I'd like to know what do you think would look better? Just one piece of material out of each of the dresses, or would it look better to vary it up with the two and a half inch block of pieced dresses together. Let me know what you think about that. So this was just a little quick update to show you where I am as far as making the memory quilts. And I'll be making two of these. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you like my videos, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And so until next time, we'll see you later.